everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading. And this one will be for the sign of Aries. All right, Aries, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you are interested in personal readings, donations, classes, life coaching, everything's below. If the reading doesn't resonate with you, make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart in particular your moon, your rising or your ascendant and your Venus. If the reading does resonate with you though, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Because the readings are only general. Sometimes they flip-flop. So if you're a cross-watcher, welcome. Alrighty. It is so cold today. I have the heater going downstairs, um, the gas heater. And I'm upstairs doing the readings and it's freezing up here. So I've got the heat going up here too. <gasps> All right. Very nice, Aries. You have the Ace of Cups coming up for you. This is love. This is a new start in love. This is uh, welcoming in new love. Can be, you know, love of a project, uh, something you feel very creative or passionate about. Um, doesn't always meet need doesn't always need to be romantic love but hey could be because you're taking a leap of faith here so something here is asking you to just jump into it so it may be that you've you know um, met someone it may be that a job is being offered it may be you'll get an opportunity to move forward on a project but the universe here is saying just go for it just go for it Okay, Seven of Wands, what are you fighting against it for? So the Seven of Wands is about being stubborn, standing your ground, refusing to see something and fighting against it. Why? I don't know, but the Hanged Man is here. So whatever this is, it's got you all up in your feels here. Um, and you're being asked to look at it from a different perspective. Okay, some sort of love offer and a choice, but you have to close down a cycle. You're worried that this relationship is not quite right. Okay, for some of you here, someone's pregnant. Um, <laughs> so you've maybe caught yourself in a situation where you're being asked, do you wanna move ahead with something? Someone's having a baby. Um, for others of you, it looks as though this person has great potential Maybe you've been seeing that for a very long time, but you haven't really sort of entertained it. So when I have a look at this, it's quite a sort of complex little story. And, you know, I'll keep going until I've got the story, but there's love here. And I do think for some of you, this is romantic love. There is something needed with a leap of faith here. But for some unknown reason, I feel like you are being asked to jump into something before you're quite ready you're sort of fighting against it here for some reason and you're trying to see it from a different perspective it could be that you've had a very sort of brief encounter with someone and now you're trying to work out whether you want to move forward or not because the knight of wands can sometimes talk about like you know a, a, an affair a sort of very flippant energy a one night stand someone player someone who doesn't want to commit that type of energy and it could be that you've met someone and you're not really sure whether this is the energy you're getting. I do see you trying to make a decision here, but I feel like because we have the world card, there's, okay, there's some sort of energy here that you are very attracted to someone, and it feels that you want to move ahead with a relationship with them, and some of you could be dealing with someone who's pregnant, but I feel like you want to move ahead on a relationship with them, but for some unknown reason, this devil energy, it's either ego holding you back um, and you're needing to look at it from a very different perspective. Or it could be that you are worried that perhaps this person is not quite right for you, even though you're feeling strongly for them. All right. Seven of Swords. Maybe you just don't trust somebody here. Oh, I've got a really big feeling here. Someone's, um, someone's perhaps, um, someone here is entertaining more than one person. Let's put it that way. And I feel like someone has got either into a situation here where it's creating conflict 
Uh, so it could be that someone's either married or in another relationship here. And I feel like there's this feeling that you've either sort of fallen in love with them or they've fallen in love with you and you're in a relationship. Let's have a good look. There's definitely this feeling that there's more than one person involved here with the Seven of Swords. A Four of Cups coming through. So the Four of Cups is a card that talks about being offered something, but not wanting to take it at this time because you feel that either that cup isn't the right fit for you, um, you're not really sure what the cup contains. So it could be that you're the one that doesn't want to get attached and you're dealing with someone who's in love with you too. Being these do flip-flop a little. Okay, so we have the Judgment card. Alrighty. And we have the Death card. So there's something here that you have to let go of before you can embrace something here. The judgment card sort of says to me that maybe you've been uh, dealing with two people for a while and trying to make trying to trying to make a decision on which way to go here. Um, I feel like neither person knows about the other, but one person I feel you have a very strong affiliation with. You may have had some sort of connection with them previously. You could have had, you know, a one night stand with them in the past and now they're sort of standing out to you as an option. Um, but there's a feeling here that you're either in another situation or they in. So they are in another situation. So you could be dealing with a married person here. Okay, so we have the six of wands, which makes us sort of look better than it did. And I do think with the eight of pentacles, they want someone wants to put the work in but it means they've got to walk away from another situation here. Okay, I feel like somebody's had a fling and fallen for the person they've had a fling for. Um, but I feel that this person that you've had a fling with or if someone's had a fling with you or a short-term relationship, um, there's this feeling now that something much stronger has come from that. Uh, but there is definitely this feeling somebody has to walk away from something here, definitely. If you want to put the work in, if you want to have this person in your life, you've got to be prepared to walk away from something. Um, very, very strong feeling here. All right, yeah, we have the tower. So something has to come to it. Something's about to, shh, about to hit the fan. Okay, nine of wands. And we have the king of cups. So I think that some of you are dealing with a water sign here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The other thing that's coming up very strongly is about somebody stepping into their power and making a decision around which way to go here. I feel that whoever you've ha perhaps had a fling with, you've had some sort of long-term uh, friendship or uh, connection to, um, and I feel that there's some feeling here that you want things to move forward now. But the universe is saying to me here that something has to be closed down here before you can move forward. The thing is I have the tower and the tower always says to me that there has to be a change in thinking here. So maybe someone is a little bit worried about speaking the truth or moving forward here um, for, for some sort of fear. So someone's sort of stuck on the fence about whether they want to move forward with this relationship or not. Let's just go back to the mini story. So there's love being offered, no doubt about that whatsoever. Um, there's a leap of faith required. So somebody is asking someone to sort of move forward with them and offering them the cup. But it seems to me someone's sort of stuck in this stubborn, you know, I'm not really sure if I want to move forward or not, but then I really want to move forward. So someone's in that energy. So the universe is saying you need to take time out to see this from a different perspective, maybe make a choice. I feel like there's been some sort of affair or some sort of very uh, passionate, encounter here that's made someone feel a little different to where to, to perhaps where they were before so something changed your thinking here it's almost like you're seeing things very differently because of this sort of no brief encounter and there seems to be now a decision that needs to be made between two things but one of them includes closing something down completely but this devil energy tells me that you either don't want to let go of something or you're fearful of making the decision you're sort of stuck in your ego here 
um, but I feel that you've fallen in love with someone. But it could also mean that your part that you're currently with is pregnant or the person that you're moving towards is pregnant. Um, but it can also talk about new life in a relationship. But I feel like you're stuck completely on the fence here. Um, so I have, you obviously haven't let this person know. So whether you're offering them love or they're offering you love, there's sort of not a real good communication around whether to accept this or not. There's a very strong feeling here that you've either known this person for a long time or maybe had a bit of a thing for them for a long time, but nothing's ever moved forward with it. But something is changing here, um, but you're allowing something to go. So you're either letting go of the person you've had the fling with or you're letting go of the other relationship if it's two relationships. If it's not, a, if it's not two relationships here, it may be a choice between two people. So maybe you've been seeing somebody but actually realising that you have strong affection for someone else. Um, but there's a definite moving away from something here, making a choice to move away from something. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me, I knew I was going to sneeze. And I didn't want to stop it, so I went quiet. Sorry, I hope I didn't blow anybody's ears out, or eardrums out there. I want to say to you here, though, there is a victory. So whatever choice you want to make, it's your choice to make. The Tower card says to me that, you know, something's got to happen here in order for something to move forward. So whether you choose to be with the person you're with or whether you choose to move on to an old or a new partner, it's your choice. Nobody can make that choice for you. So there's sort of this feeling here that it's all entirely up to you. Okay, so we're going to pull one of these. So we're going to pull a Wisdom of the Oracle for this one, just to see if we can give you a little bit more insight. Oh, that one wants to come out. Oh, Yang. Okay. I don't even need to look this up. Um, Yang is the energy of action. Um, it's the energy of moving taking action on something, making a decision, uh, movement, creative activity, the power to make things happen and taking action. So this is about you making a decision and taking action on your decision here. So that's the advice the, un the universe is giving to you is make the choice, decide which way to go, go with it. Thanks, Aries. <laughs> 